Hello, this is John Johnson from Secrets of Home Theater in High Fidelity, here to introduce you to Earthquake Sound's new SWAT 2.4 wireless stereo transceiver. What comes in the box is a small transmitter and a small receiver and two wall warts, which are 5 volts DC, to power the two units. And you can see that the lights on the front are on. I have turned the units on with the slider switches on the back. And also included are sets of cables. This end will plug in to either the transmitter or the receiver. And in the case of the transmitter, you plug the two RCA plugs into the pre-outs of your choice on the back of your receiver or processor. You could use them to power the rear channels, which is what I've done in my case, or you could use them for zone two to have wireless analog stereo transmitted to another hi-fi system in a second room. Now, when you get them out of the box, the two units will be paired. That is, the transmitter is paired to this receiver on one of 20 channels. But I've unpaired them to show you how to pair them in case yours become unpaired, which can happen in a home networking environment where there are other radio frequency signals to confuse things. So the way to pair the two units is to hold the channel button, which is right there, on both units down. The transmitter light and receiver light come back on. You release the buttons. And they blink. The transmitter light stopped blinking and is now steadily on, and the receiver light turned off, which means these two units are now paired. As an alternative to using the wall warts to supply power to the transceiver units, you can use these two USB jacks on the front connected to your computer, but they do not carry an audio signal. On the rear of the units are the on-off switches, the jack for the wall wart, and the antenna. In my situation, I have three transceivers. One transceiver drives the left and right front subwoofers, one transceiver drives the LFE channel subwoofer, and the third transceiver, which is this one, drives two power amplifiers, which I have under the rear couch, to drive the two rear speakers. So in order to have more than one transceiver, you have to set each transceiver on a different channel. And the way you do this is by turning off the transmitters on the other transceivers, and then the receiver lights will come on, which indicates that they are not receiving a, a signal. And then on your third transceiver, you change the channel button several times and pair it with the receiver. And once it is paired and the transmitter light here is on and this receiver light is off, the receiver lights on your other transceivers should be still on. They should not be off. If they have turned off, it means that you have this transmitter on the same channel that they are, and you have to then again press the channel button several times until you get a situation when the transmitter light here is on and the receiver lights on your other transceivers are also on, meaning that they are not paired with this transceiver.